Hey, this is Nicole of NicoleBeloya.com, and I want to talk to you about dealing with disappointment. I mean, I honestly can't even say that word without feeling a heaviness in my chest. So right now, I just want you to take a moment, take a deep breath, and then, you know, say the word disappointment. And see, like, for me, it comes up as, like, a sharp pain in my chest. And I want you to see, like, where, when you think about disappointment and feeling disappointed, um, where does that show up for you? How do you feel it in your body? Because I think it's so important to notice where things, where things come up for us. You know, I think it's important to notice, you know, are we feeling disappointed? You know, disappointment can, you know, blend in with sadness, frustration, anger, um, it can blend in with a lot of other feelings, so it's good to be able to differentiate because I think that so many times when we're disappointed, we end up reacting in anger. We're mad, you know, if someone let us down, if we just feel let down, if something didn't work out the way we wanted it to. Um, you know, I had a couple of disappointments this week, and I think it's so good to just pause and feel that feeling because... In my past life, when I was, you know, really like a stress addict, just jumping from one thing to the next, like I wouldn't have handled disappointment well because I wouldn't have paused to experience the feeling and think about what had happened and why it was, you know, why was I disappointed? I would have just kind of fast forwarded to the next thing and it would have been like lurking there in my chest, that pain. Um, it would have been just, you know, hiding there waiting to just pop out at a bad time it would have been you know sucking off the energy of any happy moments or good experiences that I was having so I really just want you to think about you know dealing with disappointment when it comes up for you and what you can do to deal with it so that it doesn't have these negative effects that go on forever so the first step is when you feel disappointed is just to experience it let it you know, sit there with it for a moment, pause. Um, you know, if someone tells you something that's disappointing, like don't, you know, blow up at them. Just sit a moment and pause so you can actually choose how you want to handle it. So you don't go into autopilot reaction. So as you pause and you experience it, you know, just take a moment to feel, you know, the sadness, the anger, the frustration, the the you know defeat maybe like feeling defeated by life um you know disappointment can bring out some really extreme feelings in us if we're not really aware of it or dealing with it um so once you do that you know really just give yourself shoot yourself some kindness you know and just say you know shoot love to yourself give yourself like a a little hug you know really really just feel it and let it leave you you know and then think about you then you're gonna have a clearer mind on what's your next step do you try again you know do you do you have a talk with a person about how disappointed you are sometimes we need to let others know how we feel but because we've paused and experienced the feeling we're not going to be you know shooting off negative energy towards them or anger as much we'll be able to really say you know like what's going on here um, if you're disappointed in yourself, which is huge, you know, maybe then you won't be taking it out on other people where they won't even know it. Um, but, you know, so those are the couple of steps for dealing with disappointment. And, you know, if I can help you with this at all or help you work out, you know, what to do next, please let me know. Thanks for joining me. And I hope that this helps you when something comes up because unfortunately, you know, disappointment is not unavoidable, but it will be able to be handled much more easily and will feel better when you do it this way. Have a good day. Bye.